Sound of Freedom is a movie that uncovers the vast but hidden problem of child trading, a big money business. Some big names in Hollywood and the media are trying hard to make Sound of Freedom look bad. This makes us wonder who they're loyal to. Could it be that those who don't like the movie are involved in such terrible, illegal things themselves? Keep watching till the end of this video to see why Hollywood's elites don't want you to watch Sound of Freedom. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. The film's critical subject. Alejandro Gomez Monteverde's film Sound of Freedom is a gripping adaptation based on the true story of Tim Ballard, a former government agent who took a brave step to found the nonprofit organization Operation Underground Railroad. The mission of OUR is to rescue children who are victims of intimate trading, shedding a light on the world's worst crimes. However, beneath the surface of this powerful narrative lies a storm of controversy, with accusations of associations with QAnon and claims of a media-driven cover-up. While Sound of Freedom is currently topping the domestic box office charts in the United States, some voices argue that the film isn't getting the promotion it deserves. Angel Studios, the distributor, has actively promoted the the movie through social media channels. Still, critics raise concerns about the major media organizations like newspapers, movie theaters, and streaming services seemingly hesitating to give the film wider exposure. This has fueled suspicions that these entities might have ulterior motives to suppress awareness of intimate trading crimes. One of the key aspects contributing to the controversy surrounding the film is its association with QAnon. Both Tim Ballard and the actor who portrays him, Jim Caviezel, have supported the conspiracy theory. QAnon adherents believe in a fictional narrative where a group of satanic elitists runs a child trading scheme, and they plotted against former U.S. President Donald Trump. The film's connection to these beliefs has led it to being labeled as QAnon adjacent by some reviewers. The controversy further deepens the claims that Disney, Netflix, and Amazon Prime deliberately blocked the release of Sound of Freedom to prevent the truth about child abuse from reaching a wider audience. These accusations extend to the mainstream media, which critics argue might have similar motivations to protect abusers and suppress the film's message. Impact on Awareness a famous YouTuber, Lauren Chen, openly shared her thoughts about the film and its reception. She believes that Disney's acquisition of 21st Century Fox caused delays in releasing Sound of Freedom, which was initially produced by Fox. Instead of terminating the film themselves, Disney sold the distribution rights to Angel Studios, who had to use crowdfunding to gather funds for a theatrical release. Chen pointed out an interesting irony. Sound of Freedom could have made Disney a substantial profit, as it even outperformed Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom at the box office for a weekend. However, she doubts Disney's motives, suggesting they might have avoided the movie due to potential image issues. Chen also criticized the liberal media, feeling they unfairly gave negative reviews to the film. She stressed the importance of acknowledging the seriousness of child intimate trading and urged viewers to prioritize their children's safety and take a protective stance against such terrible acts. It's crucial to recognize that Chen's views are just one part of the broader discussion surrounding Sound of Freedom. Others share her belief that the film's sensitive subject matter and potential political implications have caused it to be suppressed. However, it's worth mentioning that the movie's links to the QAnon movement and its portrayal of intimate trading have sparked contentious debates, given the wide range of opinions on these sensitive topics. Battle for Distribution Supporters of Sound of Freedom and its cause argue that its limited promotion could be attributed to the film's smaller budget than other high-profile blockbusters. Some Twitter users speculate that only high-budget films with significant financial backing could afford extensive advertising campaigns and billboard placements. They believe that the lack of official promotions is not a deliberate effort to suppress the film, but a result of resource constraints faced by smaller studios like Angel Studios. Despite the controversy, the film has found enthusiastic support on social media, where numerous celebrities and influencers have endorsed it. Mel Gibson, Elon Musk, and Dana White are among those who have publicly praised the film, encouraging their followers to watch it. Additionally, various articles and media outlets have covered Sound of Freedom, helping to spread the film's message and garner widespread attention. 
The film's backers have used extensive social media campaigns to create buzz around Sound of Freedom. Conservative outlets like The Washington Stand, the newspaper of the American evangelical activist group Family Research Council, have published articles extolling the film's virtues. Similarly, right-wing media websites, including Ben Shapiro's Daily Wire and 4chan message boards, have shared the movie's message. However, while these efforts have undoubtedly contributed to the film's success, some critics argue that the true essence of Sound of Freedom has been overshadowed by its conservative associations. Owen Gleiberman from Variety emphasized that one needn't hold extreme beliefs to recognize the film's power as a compelling and authentic portrayal of critical global issues. The movie is an eye-opening testament to one of the gravest criminal horrors of our time, an issue that Hollywood has often shied away from. A Brave Team Conservative media outlets have become interested in the movie due to its association with a controversial anti-trading activist. Even former President Donald Trump plans to host a special film screening. The lead actor Jim Caviezel portrays the protagonist and encourages the audience to support the movie so more people can learn about child trading and join the fight against it. The film's distributor, Angel Studios, does this unique distribution strategy. Caviezel is known for his role as Jesus in The Passion of the Christ and has been vocal about the debunked QAnon theory which claims that powerful figures abuse and kill children to obtain adrenochrome, a supposed elite substance. False claims like these have confused the discourse around child trading. Despite Caviezel's statements, Sound of Freedom does not mention adrenochrome or support any conspiracy theories. The film was made before QAnon became widely known. Executives at Angel Studios and the real-life organization depicted in Operation Underground Railroad have distanced themselves from conspiracy theories. However, some believe Caviezel's and Ballard's statements have influenced the film's reception. The film's success is marred by controversy surrounding Caviezel's ties to the QAnon movement. In a time of cultural clashes and misinformation, it's crucial to distinguish truth from fiction and protect genuine efforts to combat human trading from unfounded conspiracy theories. Rallying together Those mentions of QAnon, though only partially made up, are based on true events. Caviezel, the lead actor in the film, has repeatedly talked about the film's more extreme ideas. Caviezel has repeatedly appeared on Steve Bannon's podcast and called QAnon a good thing. He also attended a conference centered around QAnon in 2021. He used language similar to QAnon, predicting a significant event and praising the supposed mystical qualities of adrenochrome, a substance falsely believed by QAnon followers to be harvested from the brains of child victims. For instance, John Neifel, a senior writer at Media Matters for America, argued Angel Studios wants to present this film as a mainstream movie with an important story. However, Jim Caviezel is a strong supporter of the QAnon group and their theories, which they use in their marketing. I believe this film could introduce far-right ideas into mainstream entertainment while appearing to be a simple and popular movie. Operation Underground Railroad and its author Tim Ballard have faced criticism. Investigative outlets like Vice News have claimed that the organization exaggerated its effectiveness in combating child networks. Conspiracy theories can divert people's attention and energy from addressing real issues. Anti-trading groups have already expressed that QAnon hampers their efforts, explains QAnon expert and author Mike Rothschild. Although child trading is a real problem, the movie focuses on an unfounded fear that large trading rings are poised to abduct American children. Films like this one make it harder to see the actual problem. Moreover, the movie targets Q believers, much like how Q operates, appealing to emotions and playing on fears of trading, he said. When faced with criticism, Mr. Ballad defended his work by stating that conspiracy theorists missed the story's point. So why do you think some influential figures in Hollywood and the media are actively trying to suppress the film's message? Do you also believe that some celebrities are involved in child trafficking? Join the conversation and let us know in the comments below. Thanks!